Hello, this is IE and you are watching Spoken Word GH. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep watching. Myself. I remember back in primary school when I used to write such essays and I assumed that I knew the real me. And as shallow minded as I was, I would pen something to the paper and think that it was me. But now, I have transitioned into a new being and I'm transformed into something green. So please, allow me to introduce to you myself. So I'm guessing that you're thinking that I'll start with a name, but a name is not necessary. You see, gone are the days when I used to think that who I was had to do with my name, where I was born and the environments in which I grew up, the things I could do and probably the things that I couldn't. Following the status quo was the order of the day. And so instead of specialization, I generalized everything. Struggling to do the things that other people thought was good. Always waiting for someone to take the first step so that I'll follow. Always wanting to stand out but I stayed in the lines. And seemingly thinking that it was weird to stand out. Anytime I faced challenging situations, my inner man will whisper to me and say, Hey, you're not good enough, strong enough, bold enough, or good enough. You're just not enough. I felt myself weak and feeble. I never knew that the process was purgatory, preparing me for a mental big bang theory. Until that day when I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and personal Savior, and now I proclaimed that He was, and is, and will be my hero. Not in Superman clothes, but He gave me His whole so that I could come a little closer. Acts 17 28. I believe that in Him I move and live and have my being. And so, yes, my being is now attached to His. In Him I find my identity. I don't need a legal ID. He's made me different. He's changed me and he saved me. He's given me a new name. He's opened my eyes to see and he's given me new earth to breathe. And so who I am, I am now different. You might not see the new me, but I feel a newness inside of me. I live in this world, but I'm no longer of this world as Apostle John says. I am of a different kingdom. You see, I am the light of the world and the light in me has to shine. And so I am of his kingdom, a kingdom of divine liberty, an ambassador on a mission to emit his glory. So this world can have their own perception. In fact, to the world, I'll never be good enough. I'll never be pretty enough and I'll never be bold enough. They can have their own perception and their misconceptions. But to me, I know who I am and who I am is found in Christ Jesus.